All right, go ahead. Take me in your arms. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I'll always be around. All right, y'all. Peggy is moving the truck with the RV, getting us out of our spot out here in Wayport. Look at her. All right. Let's hit the road, fam. All right, fam, kind of noisy out here. <laughs> Got the Harleys. Here we go. So we're here at the first rest stop. Black Pearl is doing good. We've gone about an hour and 50 minutes. We've moved about 100 miles. That's no biggie. <laughs> so we're a little less than halfway down to Tampa, but 100 miles, we still have more than half a tank of gas, but I went ahead and filled up anyway. So this is our first planned rest stop. Peggy's inside getting something to eat. I'm going inside and get something too, but Black Pearl is doing good. Yeah. Every time I stop though, somebody asks, how's your truck doing? Because they want to know whether this F-150 can pull something this size. And I'm just telling them it's doing great. The truck is light. I'm getting a little bit more sway than I like because the vehicle is light, but it's pulling the power is awesome. So let me go in there and get me a snack and uh, we'll get back on the road. So right now, we are passing my happy place. <laughs> Donald said this is the very first time. Finish your sentence. This is the very first time we've driven past the Disney exit. Every time we've seen the Disney exit going to Miami or wherever we're going, Peggy like, pull over, Disney, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we're not going yet. We're going, just not today. Today's a travel. We are so excited. Well, I'm not going to say we are excited. I'm excited. Get excited, girl. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me. Here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I'm needing a new chapter, babe. Been stuck here in a bed for days.
Hey, what's up, fam? So we made it. We're safe. We're all hooked in. Thanks a lot for the prayers. So where is here? This is McDill Air Force Base Fam Camp. Uh, 268 paved full hookup spots with 30 amp, 50 amp connections. Uh, it's got over 130 other sites like uh, they got a dry camping, some grass full hookup, some tent sites and stuff like that. So over 400 spaces for RVers. Uh, as you just saw, I just left ours. I just want to give you an idea how close we are to the marina. There's the marina. <laughs> so what is that? So I took about 30 steps, 40 steps. So there's our RV right there. There's the vibe. And there's the marina. Vibe. Marina. <laughs> So that's pretty nice. If you go a little bit further down, we got the beach over there. Peggy, I'm going to be showing you guys the beach. Right now, I'm walking past a, uh, some amenity they have. It's a mail room. So the reason why they have a mail room is this is an extremely popular place in the wintertime. Right now, it's about 93 degrees out here, 94 degrees. So it's not that much fun in the summertime, so there's a lot of empty spaces. But in the winter time, it's averaging like in the 60s, which is really great for winter. And so this place is filled up in the winter time. They say you can't get in. You just gotta rush here early and just set your stakes and just stay because they don't do reservations. You get in here, you find you a spot and you take what you get and you spend the winter here. Peggy and I are probably going to be doing our winter in Arizona, but that's neither here nor there. We haven't even gotten there yet. We don't really know. But I'm going to show you another one of the things they have here. Like all good military campsites, it has a laundry room. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the laundry room real quick. It's right there. <laughs> Everything is pretty convenient to where we're located. We, we, uh, we kind of uh, got lucky this time. Or you can just say we've been blessed. So we're right here at the laundry room. Let's go inside. This is a severe weather shelter area. Here's the laundry facility where we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We got 18 top loader machines. They look to be pretty well maintained. Got an iron board and an iron down here. Somebody got the little wind machine fan in here to keep it nice. It feels really good in here. They also have ceiling fans. This is actually one of the cleanest laundry rooms that I've seen on a RV site. Uh, I don't know whether these two heavy duty machines even work or not. They don't seem to be powered up at all, so I'm just going to ignore those. And then here's all the dryers. 25 cent dryers. And a place to look, fold your clothes up. Some coin operated detergent machines, and guess what? I don't know if you saw it earlier. They have a functioning change machine. <laughs> They have answered my personal pet peeve. Wait, is that a TV? That sure is. I didn't even notice that. It's powered on. I don't see a remote control or anything, but ooh, cool air coming from this air conditioner right here. Yeah, it feels great in here. This, this is a nice facility. This is nice. So while you're in the laundry room, right through here, they have the showers and bathrooms. There we go. Nice showers. Both sides. So yeah, nice laundry facilities, very nice showers. 
got a mail room, full hookups, concrete pads. Let's look at some of these spaces. So here's a typical space. Good size for a 30 footer. Come with a picnic table over here. Oh, like somebody left their connecting cables here. That's not a good idea. But yeah, you see this um, on, on many of the sites. You see like some broken concrete in the back. I think that's from stabilizers being overused or pressed in or sometimes they use actual car jacks to try to stabilize their RVs. So yeah, you get all this. We're paying 18 bucks a day for hours. That's the best deal so far. Because the 460 a month. I thought it was 450, but it's 460 now. Big deal. <laughs> 460 a month. And that's why people stay here for long periods of time. Not much to complain about. I mean, no fire pits, big deal. You don't have to have a fire pit. Bugs have been pretty tough for us so far. So we're trying to uh, make sure we try to keep the biting insects off. Peggy and I have both been bit about 15 times in, in a day and a half. So yeah, that's something we got to get under control, but it's a beautiful place. You can't complain about being in Florida. Palm trees and ocean breeze. I say it all the time. This is nice. Hey, what's up fam? So now we're gonna get to the best part, the part you've been waiting for. <laughs> Peggy and I are walking to the beach. The wind feels awesome. That water's higher than yesterday. I love how compact this dirt is. Yeah, it's easy to walk on. Peggy and I getting out the night about seven o'clock. We saw a great walk on the side of the base uh, with the uh, shredded tire uh, tracks that they, like they had at Sky Air Force Base. So we'll be getting out to walk that. And we'll be getting out to the little beach area a little bit too. So we'll be taking full advantage of this. And then we got a little day trip to Disney World plan. So. I'm looking forward to this next week, and uh, we really appreciate you guys uh, joining us for this little journey. And hopefully we can bring some good uh, views of uh, what we're doing down here and what it's like being down here. All right, fam, we just want to say thank you for joining us, and uh, God damn, do something good for yourself and for others as well. Take it easy, fam.